Grade 2 Math, Adding and Subtracting Money, Lesson 11.10b. Some word problems will need us to add or subtract money to find the answer. When we add or subtract money, we use a dollar sign. It's the S with the line going through it. It's like this. And a decimal point. It's this little period right here. And the dollar sign goes in front of our answer, and that's decimal point separates the dollars from the cents. The numbers on this side to the left of the decimal point are the dollars. The numbers on the right of the decimal point are the cents. If we add two dollars and 25 cents plus one dollar and 13 cents, we add coming straight down just like we would if we were adding hundreds. Five plus three is eight. 2 plus 1 is 3, 2 plus 1 is 3, we write our dollar sign, and we line all of our decimal points up nice and pretty and straight on top of each other. Solve and show your work. Emma bought a kite for $5.44. She bought kite string for $2.20. And she gave the clerk $8.00. How much change did she get back? So we think, Emma bought two things. She bought a kite and some kite string. And we need to total the cost of these two things to find out how much she spent in all. Then we need to subtract the total cost from the $8 that she gave the clerk to find the amount of change she's going to get back. So we've got a kite for $5.44 and string for $2.20. We add, stacking the decimal points on top of each other, the $5.44 and the $2.20. 4 plus 0 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, and 5 plus 2 is 7. We get $7.64. That's how much these two items cost together. And she gave the clerk $8, so we're going to subtract this amount from the $8 to find the difference, and that will be her change. When we subtract the $7.64 from the $8, we can think of it without the dollar signs as 800 minus 764. But we need to put the decimal point and the dollar sign back on when we're finished doing our subtraction or addition or whatever we're doing. So you can look at it this way without the signs and symbols, but they have to be put back on at the end. It's the same thing. We're going to get the same number, except if we do it this way, we're going to have our decimal point and our dollar sign. So we have to regroup because we can't have 4 and take it from 0, so the 8 is going to become a 7, then this 0 is going to become a 10, and then this 0 can borrow 1 from that 10, so it becomes a 9, and now that becomes a 10. 10 take away 4 is 6, 9 take away 6 is 3, 7 take away 7 is 0, and do you see how we have the 0 here and then the dollar sign? You would not write this as dollar sign point three six. We don't do that. You would put a zero there, then the decimal point, or you would just write 36 with the cent symbol. But if you're doing addition or subtraction in columns like this, you should write it with the dollar sign and then a zero, the decimal point, and then the three six. Okay? So our next lesson is going to be choosing a computational method that is choosing a way to answer a problem. I'm going to choose how you're going to add it to solve it. That's lesson 11.11. .11. I hope you're having a great day. And remember to keep your decimal points all nice and neat and pretty going straight up and down. And remember to put your dollar signs. Okay? I'll see you next time. Bye.